welcome back. If you are new to my channel, I am Kathy and I do food and product reviews. And Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. I know I did. I took a couple weeks off, but I am back with something that will hopefully warm you up. This is a thermal mist humidifying space heater, heater from High Impact. So it's 550 watts. But when I saw this at Walmart, uh, it was in the As Seen on TV products. This is not an As Seen on TV product. Um, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's great. Because in the winter, we always run a humidifier. I think your home's humidity should be around 38 to 50%. And you know, in the winter it gets dried out, so you need to add some humidity back in the air. So I thought, perfect, a little a little heater uh, and a humidifier in one. Oh, and a nightlight. So I thought this would be perfect. I, I was like, got all excited when I saw it. I was like, perfect, I need, I need to try that. I need to review it. So here it is. So let's take an up close look at it. First of all, this has a little handle not like you're going to be carrying around with you. You know, it does plug in, but if you need to move it somewhere. And also, don't worry, it's not going to stay on when you um, pick it up because at the bottom here, there is a button that uh, that it has to be pushed in. So if it's not sitting flat on something, it's not going to work. So, all right. All right. So, oh, also it comes with this little cleaning brush and these little cotton sticks. These Three extra ones, a total of four. There's one in here also. Um, but yeah, so a total of four, and you can't buy replacement ones. I saw on um, Amazon, it was like it's cheap. It was like $7.99 for like 40 of them or something like that. Also comes with a little measuring cup. Like I said, I bought this at Walmart. It was $39.99. Here's where the warm air comes out. And what I noticed about this is for the size of this, let's see, this is, Six by ah. six by six. The heating part of it is pretty small. I believe it's it's two and a half by two. So I don't know. It's it's a little deceiving. It's not as big as you might think. Heat, mist, light, and timer over here. Like I said, it's the handle. Here is the mist nozzle, and this is this is actually to play around with to get it out of here so you could change. So here it is, it just comes out like that, and you can change it. It says to change every three months. All right, then there's little magnets here and magnets there. And I'm sorry if you could hear all the noise outside. Uh, it snowed last night, so kids are outside playing. All right, so here is where the light is, and also it's the water tank. And this comes off so you could fill it with water. Um, what I found, though, I mean, this, it, it all goes to the same place. So I'm not sure why I need this little bitty hole here, why I can't use the bigger one. I don't know, I guess it keeps you from having to take this out, but. Seems like it would keep you from spilling it too. But here's the measuring cup. It says to use only tap or mineral water. Do not use distil distilled or sparkling water. So this tank will hold 240 milliliters. And this is 120. So you pour this in. I'm going to fill it all the way up. And with this, the first time you use it, you're supposed to let this soak in some water. I have used this, so I don't need to really do that this time. But just so you know, your first time using it, make sure you let it soak just for a couple minutes. Okay. All right. All right, put that back in there. All right. Plug it in. All right. First, plug it in. They all light up, and then it just the heat light stays on. Go through each setting. Heat. Green is low. Press it again for high, which is yellow. 
and it just gets warmer. It doesn't blow any harder. And then red is off. All right, then the mist. The mist is just on or off, so. You see the mist coming out? Feels, feels misty. All right, let's shut that off. All right, let's give the light a try. You can see that's, that's a blue. I think I'm lying because you, oh, that's a green. I'll try to get some of this video in the dark so you can see better. I can't even see now there's a green. Like I said, that can be used independently and the heat can be used. The heat and the mist can also be used independently. A timer can be used for the heat, uh, but not the mist. So one, two or four hours, but the heat will automatically shut off after six hours. Say if you don't have the timer set and the mist will run for five hours. I want to see how far I can feel it. I have played around with this. Um, and just know that it is a personal heater. It, I'm surprised it says too warm, warms the room. Um, unless you're in a really small room, the room I'm in is, I think it's like 150 square feet. Um, after two hours, it warmed it two degrees and that was it. So it's really just, if you're using it at a desk or maybe you're working in your garage and you know, wherever you're working, you have it right on you. Uh, but don't think it's going to heat your room because it's, it's not. It's just personally, yes, it will warm you up, but not the whole room. So I feel like that's a little deceiving. I mean, I do have space heaters that will heat, you know, my bathroom or, you know, this room uh, pretty well. But this little thing is not going to do it. All right. So let me just show you how far I can feel it. Okay, so from here to the end of this table, it is uh, 34 uh, inches. So let's see, heat. I can feel it right here. But that's about as far as I can feel it is right here. So as far as the distance, that's pretty good. But once again, not gonna, not gonna heat up your room. So when I was trying it out to see if it would heat up the room, um, the heat in my house was not on, so that wasn't that wasn't a factor. Even though you know, I think the heating element is pretty small, it still does a pretty good job of warming up. But like you can't go like here or here; you have to be directly in in front of it. So, like I said, I have used this a little bit um, when it was cold. It's like upstairs it has to be really cold for my husband to turn the heat on upstairs because we have two separate units. Um, so usually the heat is not on upstairs. So when it's cold, I like to have a little space heater going. Uh, so I used this, I thought it was great. Then I decided to try out the mist and see how well that worked. If it, you know, created some moisture in the air. So yeah, so let me turn the heat on. All right, I'm just warming my hands and let me turn the mist on. The mist. So this is where this is where it lost me. Yes, in theory, this is a great idea, um, and it would be great if the mist was warm. The mist is not warm. Um, we do have a humidifier downstairs where it does it does warm the the mist, so it's going to be giving off you know a warm warm mist, not a cold mist. So if this was warm air coming out, I think it would be great. But the fact that it's cold, it just kind of defeats the purpose of the heat. And I guess if you, you know, had this at your desk and you were leaving like to go to lunch or something, you could run this to add a little moisture back into the air. But running them at the same time, mm, that didn't work for me. But for $39.99, I think you could probably find a cheaper little space heater because, um, you know, the light, I guess the light's a nice feature. Um, and the mist is if you something you would use, but in my case, I don't feel like I would really use it. Just saw the brush sitting here. Just so you know, this is when you take out the water. Um, 
you just put this in if you want to clean out the tank. That's the purpose of this. I forgot to mention that. For a space heater, for I should say for a personal space heater, I think it's good. I, I, I will continue to use it for that. I don't see myself using the mist at all. Um, the, having the timer on there is a nice feature. Um, but yeah, so for me personally, I don't think $39.99 is worth it. But for you, you know, maybe you like the warm and the cold mist together. I don't know. Uh, if you do, you would probably love it. But for me, it just made me cold. The mist just made me cold when I turned it on. So if you've tried the Thermo Mist Humidifying Space Heater, uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.